Hi guys, my name is Nene Eminike and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be making plantain porridge. If you've never tried plantain porridge before, please do well to try it. It's really, really nice. And if you have, please do well to try out my recipe. I know you will love it. But before we dive in, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. So guys, the first thing we have to do is to get our plantains right. Now, for every three unripe plantains, just add one ripe plantain. Do you get? This ripe plantain is just going to make everything sweet. Trust me on this one, guys. Don't miss it. <laughs> our next ingredient is our crayfish. Then we'll be needing a medium-sized onion bulb. And for our peppers, we'll be needing red scotch bonnets and our shombo peppers. Now, we'll also be needing obaka, but it's not necessary. In this recipe, you can always omit obaka. That's your oil beans. It. Then, we also need our nchao. Nchao is sense leaves in English and it's very important for this recipe. So, please do not omit that one. <laughs> We'll also be using our stockfish, that's oporoko, just very little for the flavor and everything. Then we'll be needing our dried fish and our palm oil, that's the red oil. Now, we have to blend both the crayfish, the onions, the peppers all together and then we'll keep that aside because we don't want to just be scattering everywhere. Mm? So make sure you prepare all your ingredients before you start cooking so you don't need to rush or anything like that while this is important is because it's a one pot um cooking so you need everything to be ready mm? now the next thing we're going to do is to cut our plantain and i'm going to show you how to cut this plantain these the size that we need and the shape we need for this plantain porridge because you don't want to be cut as if you want to fry plantain now this is a very easy way to cut up your um to remove your the back of the plantain you just look for the line and then use your knife and give it a straight line and you see very easy to remove for even unripe plantains now once we're done removing the back of this plantain i'm going to show you how to cut it and dice it because once it's in like a is it square little square forms so the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that all the bags are all removed and all because we don't want to eat in back of plantain in our food <laughs> then you cut this into two and you give it these horizontal and vertical lines depending on how big your plantains are but these are more like a medium-sized plantain so I gave it like three lines and three lines horizontal, three lines vertical. And then this is the size we need. It's not big. It's not small. It's just medium. Perfect. Once you get this size, then that is fine. Now that we're done preparing everything, it's time to cook. So into our pot, we'll put in our plantains and water. The water should be a little bit, very little a little bit above your plantains right that's the way you need to that's the only way you should check the water you need for this um for porridges that's how i check mine and it turns out very nice like you can see the water is just a little bit above the plantain and that is very fine remember we used water to blend some of your um to blend some of our ingredients so just bear that in mind that this is okay now, after putting this, the next one we're going to put is all our ingredients, all in one pot. We are not waiting for anybody. We're putting everything at the same time. Here, I'm putting the crayfish, the onions, the peppers into this pot. And then when we're done putting all these things into the pot, the next thing we're going to put is our um stockfish now you don't need to you can do it anyhow it's not more you can even start with red oil you can start with your stockfish you can start with your dried fish you can start with anything but just make sure that they're all entering together <laughs> now we're going to put in our seasoning cubes i and also salt to taste we're going to add our salt and then we're going to add little ogirobe just for the flavor I'm going to write down every ingredient we used on the description box, so please do not worry. So this me adding the ogirobe into the 
pot and you don't necessarily need to turn this because it's just going to cook on its own so we are going to add our red oil that's the last ingredient here when we add our red oil we would cover this and allow it to cook for 10 to 15 minutes on low to medium heat you would see that the ingredients must have gone round the pot and it's looking like so and when it's looking like this you just turn it with your spatula i love using wooden spatula to turn my porridges because it helps with the thickening process so i just turned this very well then i will taste it if i need any other thing like um any other Thing like salt for taste or anything I add in more salt for taste so if you need to add more ingredients you can actually add um, salt for taste but with all these ingredients I wrote down here I'm pretty sure you would have the perfect <laughs> plantain porridge so you turn this after adding your extra salt if you need more and then you cover this to cook again if you want to know if your plantain porridge is ready you just have to take one from the pot, one plantain from the pot, one plantain cut and eat. If you like how um, hard or how soft it is, then you just bring it down. That means your porridge is ready. And if it gets thicker like this, I'm showing you now, that means your porridge is ready. You don't have to allow it to get too thick because once it cools down, like all porridges, like our beans porridge too, it will definitely thicken up. Now here my porridge is ready. I love it like this. So I'm adding the opaka and the inchawo. The inchawo has this nice, that inchawo is scent leaves guys. It has this nice flavor. It gives your porridge. So, so I love using it to cook. Then you will turn this and allow it to simmer a bit. Two minutes or so, your porridge is ready, guys. Look at that. A beauty to behold. <laughs> Hope you try out this recipe and tell me what you think. If you have other ingredients that you use for your porridges, please do well and drop us a comment. I would really love to try out your own recipes too if you have for this food now look at us dishing out our plantain porridge guys see oh it has taken up that's the thing about porridges and it's not yet it wasn't as cold as here and look at how it's looking so you don't need to be scared that the porridge is too much or the water is too much no once you get above a little bit above your plantain then that's fine i'm serving mine with fried fish because <laughs> best combo guys best combos i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you loved it and i can't wait for you guys to try it out and tell me what you think thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next video thank you and bye bye <laughs>